Well, hello there, Mark Risen Hopkins, founding editor of Silicon Angle, coming back to you at uh, Google I.O. 2013 uh, with our ongoing coverage of extracting the signal from the noise. I am here with Ian McDonald, he is the CEO of Skill Pages, a, uh, a, a, a way to find uh, skilled folks to uh, hire and put to work or to find work yourself. So he's going to tell us a little bit about that. Ian, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, I'm very uh, delighted to have the opportunity to chat to you. So Skill Pages, as you quite rightly said, we're a social platform for finding skilled people, getting your own skill found, and finding new people to collaborate with. So say, you know, as part of your life, you need to find skilled people a couple of times a month. You might need somebody to paint your home. You might need a graphic designer to design something for you. On Skill Pages, you can go, you can find people who have the skills that you're looking for, see who they are, what they do, see examples of what they do, and then you can see your real life connections to them. So maybe you've got a friend in common. Maybe you went to school together in the past. And the whole concept is that when you're looking for, say, a babysitter to come into your home, you like to find people with whom you can trust or with whom you have a real life connection because people like to do business with people they know or people they have a connection with. So Skill Pages helps you do that in a much, much faster way and across a much wider network of people. So I, I want to I want to ask you more Skill Pages related questions, sure. but first let's talk about why we're talking because we're here at Google I/O. We're in the uh, the Google Plus uh, sandbox area. Yep. So what do you what do you what's your deal? Why you have why are you here with Google? Yeah. So <laughs> G Plus is like a really exciting integration for yeah. us. So with 16 million members on the platform, we identify that an awful lot of them are already members of G Plus. So now that you can sign in with G Plus, what it does is it immediately means that you can find people on Skill Pages with the skills you need, and you can see your connections to them as a result of your circles. So you can see you've got a mutual friend, or you can see that your friend has added somebody to their circles. So it's a very easy way to find skilled people and then get instant recommendations from people whom you know, who have already had a relationship with the person you're considering using. So that's one uh, kind of basic integration of G+. But other things that we're excited about is that on Skill Pages you can, for example, post a task. I'm looking for a graphic designer to make a menu for me. When you post that task, it can get shared into your G+ stream. So your contacts on G+, all of the people who have added you to their circles, can see that you're looking for a graphic designer. They can comment on that and suggest somebody. They can apply there and then, or they can share it onto their networks. So you're accessing all of the contacts of the people who have added you to their circles on G+, with one simple click. So, yeah, talk about that a little bit. So, first of all, you, you've, you've Google, this, uh, the sign-on with uh, Google Plus is new for you guys. You've, you've yeah. just, just added this on. But, uh, how much of uh, how much referral traffic drives new hires? I mean, I know from my own personal experience, yeah. uh, most of my jobs have not come through like yeah. a monster.com or something like yeah. that. It's come through the uh, you know people that I know. Yeah. So uh, how much of how much of like a because I'm assuming you're tracking yeah. you know successful uh, yeah. matches. Yep. How much of that comes from a referral, and how much of that just comes from people browsing yeah. the site? So we see when somebody say does a search for I don't know uh, an Android developer. What we're seeing is that the likelihood of them clicking on and subsequently messaging somebody with whom they share a social connection is four times the likelihood of them clicking on somebody with whom they don't have a social connection. So almost immediately, almost more important than content is the fact that, hey, this is a friend of a friend. So your challenge of trying to hire people through your network is that you've got to contact your network all the time. You've got to tell them, I need this, I need that. But that's quite a difficult thing to do. We've met today, but you probably won't call me tomorrow and say, I need to find a new researcher. But if you saw, oh, there's a researcher, they look very interesting, and they're a buddy of Ian's, maybe you'll just ping me a message on Skill Page and say, hey, I met you at the G Plus, or at Google I.O., and I see that you're a friend of this. Is this person any good? So it's a very fast way of finding social connections to people with whom you want to have a, a commercial relationship. So you've got a foot in both uh, both pools, so to speak. You've been with Facebook, you use Facebook single sign-on, yep. and you've uh, recently, not switched, but added uh, Google+. Yep. Plus. So tell me a little bit about the differences in the, the ecosystems that you've noticed so far. Yep. So from a, a retrospective um, uh, on Skill Pages, we've used Facebook because G Plus single sign-on just wasn't available. When it became available, we saw how many of our users were already on G Plus because they can add that to their profile, and we said, this is a no-brainer, this makes sense for our members. We didn't expect it would be too quick to catch on, but what we're seeing is that almost 50% of social sign-ons to Skill Pages are now through G Plus. See, it's, it's fascinating, because you know you keep hearing in the press, yeah. Google Plus, such, such a ghost town. Yeah. Not the case. Absolutely, 100% not. <laughs> uh, and what we're seeing is that not only is it that the single sign-on 
is used by our users, but then the sharing of their interactive posts when they're looking for skilled people or when they're creating a new profile on skilled pages, the engagement on those posts out of G+, from the newsfeed, is extremely high. So we're seeing that almost on a par with Facebook's, despite the fact that we've only been integrating for three weeks. So, so give me uh, what's what's next for skill pages? Where 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 like five years? Where what's where where is this going to go? Yeah, I so mean, because there's a lot of new social right, technology, yeah. especially coming out of the Google ecosystem. Yeah. So, what what's next? Well, we're growing extremely quickly at the moment. So, we launched in January 2011. We've now 16 million people have joined us. They've added 22 million skills. Over a million people a month are now joining skill pages. And what we want to be is the go-to place for finding skill people. So, just like 10 years ago, there was a thousand online book retailers. Now, Amazon is the go to place. We feel there's an opportunity to just deliver a really easy experience for finding skilled people. Uh, we see our business growing to deliver value for hundreds of millions of people around the world because you, me, everybody in this room needs to find skilled people as part of your daily life. If we can make that easier, then we'll deliver value for our members, create new life enhancing opportunities, and therefore deliver a scale of organization that is capable of delivering value across the globe. Well, I, I thank you for your time, Ian. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, and uh, we'll be back with more, uh, more interviews and more uh, demonstrations from Google I.O. 2013, so keep it tuned right here.